Good evening, everyone. I wanted to talk about um, the link between national identity, so rights, um, and religion, um, especially in regards to the Von Ranke article. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, he talks about how there is like an ex inextricably link linkedness between um, religion and rights. And um, this really kind of made me think outside the bounds of just Germany and also think um, in regards to other countries in the Western world. Um, just this interplay between rights and religion. Um, of course, it's in a much different caliber in Germany, but it's something that we see in other areas. And my background is in political science, so it was interesting to kind of pick this article apart. Um, so von Ranke was saying that if you have enough followers of a religion in your country, there can never really be a separation of church and state. And this is why I was so interested in looking at other countries in, in addition to Germany, um, because I was like, hey, that might actually kind of be true. Um, so there's some examples for how um, this might look. Um, the state can be the one to give power to the church. So we see that in Germany where um, different local governments were giving legitimacy to either the Protestant churches or the Catholic churches. Um, so there's an, a link there. Um, and even countries that claim to not have a link between rights and religion, um, there can be one that's more low-key than just straight up saying um, I'm a local leader for this area and I endorse this religion. So um, they can be intermingled by having a political leader who is someone who follows that religion. Um, so it made me compare it to the state of Utah and how a lot of the political leadership within the state of Utah is LDS. And there are a lot of laws within the state of Utah, especially regarding education, that really follow the LDS rules. So while there isn't, um, while there is still the separation of church and state, there's still a big um, link between that. Another uh, way that there can be an intermingling between uh, that uh, Von Ranke points out that um, can be a link between um, states and religion, even without it being um, obvious, is that the state can grant right to ch rights to churches. Um, so if a church wants to expand, you still have the government that has to okay it. And if we have something like in the United States, where let's say the tax break for churches, um, while it might not be a specific religion that the government is favoring, it can still be um, a link between church and state. So it was really interesting to read this article and think about how um, the state and religions are really connected, even when we say um, that there is not a connection. Um, and I think it can really be applied to countries other than just Germany. Um, Germany is just a really extreme example.